Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second game of the Six Nations 2023 England versus Scotland at a wet Twickenham today. We're actually a bit rainy overhead, bit of overcast weather. So it's going to be a slippery ball. We're going to see potentially some more knock on, some bigger kicks. Going to be potentially a bigger game. Of course, both teams have good aerial contenders in both of these teams. So I'm sure the uh, the fight for the aerial battle in terms of the high ball will be one of the big areas to look at. Both teams will be wanting to get their Six Nations off to a really good start as Marcus Smith will get us underway in this first fixture for both of these teams over this Six Nations. They kick it deep. Darcy Graham takes it straight up to the line. England managed to swarm over. We're going to see the England defensive line spread a little bit wider. Oh, there's a bit of an awkward pass there. Didn't quite get it to hands, as can be expected with the wet weather today. We'll check out the replay of that, trying to get that ball away. Chris Harris just not ready for that pass, expected it to go to ground. First scrum of the game, wet underfoot. Let's see how this England scrum performs. We'll see how this ball gets put in. The England scrum, desperate to try and get it right this year. Very close to the World Cup. They're going to be wanting this to start going right. Harry Randall gets that put in and they secure it nice and easily as Harry Randall runs down the inside himself. He wants to show and go. Marcus Smith try to take it further to the line. Doesn't manage to get it anywhere. Otoje is going to fill in at that scrum half. Out to Tom Curry gets taken down just before the line and turned over by Scotland. Very good defense from them on their own try line. Oh, as I was talking earlier about how good they are in that backfield. Johnny May out of position, got caught out there. Not working well for them. Let's drop it back as we see to a laggy setting up for a big crash as you expect to see from the hard runner let's see where England decided to take this one they go out to Genge another man we like to see running hard with the ball that little baby rhino we've heard so much of before in the past great tackle there from Itoje but England not managing to shut down this wing and there is a gap opening up in the defensive line here England will have to be very careful as Scotland try to spread this one out wide Looks like England have managed to sort themselves out here as we see England manages to pick it back up. Ellis Genge gets it out to Sinclair to Tualagi. Gets it out to Johnny May. He's going to try and break. Darcy Graham can't get to him. Johnny May is going to score in at the corner. Now, not going to lie, his arm looked incredibly close to actually touching that dead ball line. We'll see if we can get a closer replay of this. Uh, we will have it potentially checked by the TMO. It looked very close to diving at that try line. If his arm was touching that dead ball line, the TMO says it's fine. The try is allowed, but a very difficult kick for Marcus Smith. Not taking uh, the kicking duties today, Owen Farrell, but Marcus Smith uh, potentially got some good kicking opportunities, but the win behind him today going to be difficult. Oh, off the post and doesn't go over. Be really sad with that first effort. Owen Fowler, of course, waiting in the wings if the uh, kicking doesn't improve in this game today. But the wind with the rainy weather going to be a bit difficult to deal with. Itoje taking it to the line. Two a laggy goes backwards. I think that was Schumann on the big tackle there. Sinclair tries to get it out wide again for Johnny May. Oh, a superb cover tackle there from Darcy Graham. Sees another mistake from Johnny May today. Another knock on from him. We saw that poor catcher him earlier on. Johnny May now dropping it into touch. Got the option off the scrum or the line out. Scotland have chosen the scrum. They obviously want to redeem themselves a bit from that first scrum today. We'll see how the Scotland scrum holds up. Ali Price getting ready for the put in here. Let's see how they manage to cope with it. The ball goes in. We'll see who manages to recover. Scotland look like they've actually got the shove on this one. As Scotland spread it wide, a lot of room in this open field. They've seen a gap open up. Chris Harris can't get it out, but he manages to get the pass. They're playing some lovely little interlinking play here. Oh, it's still going through. Sam Johnson smashing through tackles, but England managed to get it. And now two Alagis away. Oh, manages to get tackled. Good cover tackle there by the Scottish prop. That could have been dangerous. Some nice work there. Oh, they've gone quickly, though, and caught England napping at that line out. England still trying to sort themselves out. Scotland in no <laughs> means going to be waiting around for them. Get on with the ball. The mall doesn't seem like it's going to be working for them, though. England will be happy to just hold that there. Kill a bit of time. They've still got the advantage of the lead with 5 nil at the minute. Oh, went for the miss pass. Potentially had the numbers to have held on there. England are going to try and spread out on this wing as Darcy Graham all on his own. If there's one man you don't want to leave on his own on the wing, it's going to be Darcy Graham. 
Marcus Smith dropping back in the pocket. I assume we're going to want to see this get off the park. Oh, as there's a terrible misjudgment there from Itoje, who runs directly. Oh, sorry, it's Courtney Laws. I thought it was the lock coming in there right in front of the ball. Oh, and just not misreading that pass at all. Tried to leave it alone. Comes off his chest. Is given as a knock on. Scotland have a great opportunity here for a very attacking scrum in the England 22. We're going to have to see a very good scrum from England here in terms of try and regain a bit of composure. Let's see how they get on. They seem to have the early shove. Scotland desperately trying to fight back, but it is slightly in favour. No, it's not. Scotland are trying to hold on. Both teams not wanting to drop this down, but England are the ones who eventually get away with it. Harry Randall thinks he sees some room in that backfield. He's caught Duan van der Merwe and Stuart Hogg in two minds about who was going to get there. It's given them a good net advantage and the turnover. Harry Randall with the brilliant start to this. Out to Jack Knoll. Got a lot of work to do here. Two players down. He is isolated. I think he's in desperate trouble and Scotland get the good turnover there. Stuart Hogg just waiting for it as Max Malins, the boy we know. He's so good under that high ball. Let's see how he copes in the wet weather. He might have kicked it just a little bit too far. Oh, and doesn't manage to get the cover tackle down as Scotland break away from nowhere. <laughs> that was a superb run. I think that might have been Sam Skinner. I think that was an incredible move. England have had to rush to do the scramble. Given away another penalty, probably for offside. A good interception. It's Johnny May again. Really struggling Johnny May in this first half. Just not getting himself into the positions. We've seen knock-ons, penalties, misplaced positioning. Might be seeing a, uh, a change going on at halftime if it doesn't improve for Johnny May anytime soon. But a great steal at the line-out. Marcus Smith decides to uh, play a little bit of uh, exhibition rugby here. Manages to get his own kick as well. Stuart Hogg too busy covering further back in the field there. Itoje out to Owen Farrell who sees a bit of a gap there. Oh, gets a knock on. Looks like it's been missed by the referee though. Not managing to work for him. Oh, there's a lovely offload there. Chris Harris with a room of space. Did he need the pass? Let's see if Tua Lagi can get back across to make the defensive tackle. Oh, it looks like the England defence is all over the place. Scotland surely have to score from here. England look like they've managed to get their line back in order. Scotland had such an opportunity there to gain back a couple of points before this half time. Kyle Sinclair with the tackle, absolutely necessary. England try and fight back. It looks like they've managed to hold this one out. It could have gone so wrong for them. Owen Farrell tries to get it off the field. <laughs> Nearly goes terribly wrong for them. England will go in at halftime. 5-0 up against Scotland. And what a superb first half we had. Both teams struggling with the wet weather. We've seen a couple of drop balls. Where England have struggled a little bit in terms of positioning. We saw Johnny May out of position on that first kick earlier on in the game. As well as some issues with their team discipline. Johnny May on that left wing has been. Not been having the great first half in that game. We saw a knock on penalty given away and out of position in that first half. England are the first ones onto the scoreboard though with the try earlier on in the first half. However, a bit of a poor kick from Marcus Smith. Very close but did come off the post. Didn't get the luck of the draw with it bouncing off the post and going in. Scotland right at the end potentially had the opportunity. England defence in scramble mode but Scotland not managing to get that ball wide enough to go over the line. Caesars going in at halftime 5-0 to England. On to the second half then, and I'm getting some news that England have made a couple of substitutions here. Ben Youngs has come on at scrum half, and Luke Cowan Dickey has come on for Jamie George in that front row. It looks like it's been a bit of an awkward first kick off. England really not in position today. They're really struggling. We're trying to judge these kicks. The wind is obviously a little bit stronger down on the pitch than up here in the commentary booth. We'll see how they get on. Ben Youngs is hopefully going to bring a bit of experience into that back line now to try and organise their positioning a little bit more because England and look to be struggling in terms of judging where the balls are going. Owen Farrell potentially got a bit of a break here. Goes wide to Johnny May, who's going to kick it on downfield. It's a full-on sprint race now. Darcy Graham out of position. I think Finn Russell's having to get back to cover this one. No, it's Chris Harris. Manages to get back across to stop Johnny May. The wind just not working along with him. Oh, there's a lovely breakaway. Let's see what England can do on this scramble. They managed to just about recover again. We've seen this a couple of times today. Scotland just finding the room in that English defence. It's just not working well for them. We'll probably be needing to see a change soon in terms of how wide England are playing. England up fast again. They're going to want to watch out for potential offside. They are struggling to keep their position so far. 
Um, backs are lining up so much let's see how they're going to get on here. They go left. Ellis Genge takes it to the line but goes down. We're not going to see anything going there. Defensive pressing is going to shut down a little bit. I think they're going to narrow that defensive line because Scotland are finding those holes. They don't want to see that room opening up in their defensive line. Play a little bit tighter. Don't let them cut in on the inside. It's a smart move to play on. Scotland slowing down the ball now. I think so far the position of going for speedy plays has been their better option as we see Darcy Graham trying to spread. Oh, sorry, Duan van der Merve on that left wing. I thought they'd swapped over wings at one point. They've gone back to their original sides now. Duan van der Merve not managing to make the impact he would have wanted down that left wing. Sinclair out to Owen Farrell who sees a bit of a gap. Good cover tackle though by Chris Harris and they've earned the turnover. There's a lot of room potentially. Oh, it's a terrible pickup. Ball dropped by Ali Price. You don't see that too often. Just not getting it down. An enormous hit in that midfield. The ref might want to go back and have a look at that. There looked to be an enormous collision in that midfield. Potential head injury going on there. Everyone looks to be okay. England with the line out. Luke Cowan-Dickey's first throw of the game, I think. Let's see how he manages to do it. Looks pretty safe. The England line out today been pretty solid all around the park, to be fair. Both on the offensive and defensive. To a laggy tries to spread out wide to Jack Knoll, who's managed to find a bit of room, but there has been a good cover tackle there coming in from Duan van der Merwe. They're switching up their defensive pressing now, I think. Oh, there we go. We've seen how England have now wanted to switch up the game. Get on the back on the front foot, try and get some momentum behind them for this one. We'll spread it wide again. Marcus Smith. Oh, with a terrible pass intercepted by Scotland and they're away again this breakaway play Max Malins has to try and come across with this one doesn't manage to get there and we will see Scotland go over for a try Hamish Watson fantastic try by him it was coming it feels like it's been coming all day it all started with a rubbish pass from Marcus Smith not sure if he thought someone was waiting on his wing outside him but that breakaway again the fullback desperately trying to get back doesn't manage to get there and Scotland go over this kick now, potentially to uh, take the lead here for Scotland. It looked like that attack was going to be going for a little while. We'll see how Finn Russell does. Slots it through easily. A bit of an easier kick than Marcus Smith had earlier in the game. Look at the wind blowing alongside now. Marcus Smith knows they'll need to make some big impact shortly after that just so they not let it get away from them in this game. Courtney Laws tries to spread it out wide. There looks to have been a massive hit in that midfield. Grant Gilchrist will be yellow carded for that impact. He went for the chop tackle. Just taking him down. Didn't look like he went in with any arms either. There seems to also be quite an injury there too. Marcus Smith will have to see who's going to come on in terms of the substitutions. England look to be taking this opportunity. George Ford coming on for Marcus Smith. And there has also been some change at the front rows. England with a whole new front row now. They've obviously gone for the scrum. The yellow card. Scotland a man down in the scrum. They've replaced their own front row. England could have the opportunity here to go for a massive shove. Scotland have opt opted to put a player into the scrum to try and back them up. I don't know if that's going to be the right move. There will be room in this backfield as Ben Youngs breaks away. There's no one in that backfield. It's going to be an easy walkover try for Ben Youngs. That's why they put him on earlier in the game. Game experience. He noticed that room in the backfield. A man down. How much will that yellow card come to impact this game? They chose to put one of the backs into the scrum. It left so much more room in that back line. And it's an easy walkover try for Ben Youngs. A bit of an easier so kick now, but it will be George Ford taking this kick. Uh, having come on for Marcus Smith due to that injury. But it's a little bit of an easier kick. I'm sure he'll be wanting to uh, bring that up in training. That he managed to get his over and Marcus Smith didn't. But uh, certainly a harder kick for him. This week, oh, another huge bounce. The wind today has been very impactful in the game. Mauro Toje has to try and clean it up a bit, but does get turned over. Scotland, superb. They know action is required. They know this game is still in for the potential to steal this game away. There's only eight minutes left on the clock. England are going to try and get this away. Can they get it into touch? It looks like they do manage it. It's a good clearance. Puts them back up towards the halfway line. Let's see how that England... Line out fares, not good enough. Scotland managing to hold it out. Let's see how England get on. You can tell the difference in bringing on those replacement forwards. The Moors actually going backwards 
for Scotland. This is not what they want to see. Also a forward down still with that yellow card, of course. Let's see how Scotland managed to do. Some good work there from Sam Johnson, breaking through a couple of tackles. Oh, not unfortunately the same for Chris Harris. But now Ben Young's trying to isolate that room in the backfield again. The wind just taking the ball away from everyone. A poor jump from Stuart Hogg, normally better in the air. As George Ford with a great pickup, Will Stewart. Not going to manage to get away there. There's potentially room for the wing. No, Noel backs back inside himself, doesn't want to go himself. The game is potentially over. Do the England want to see if they can extend this out away from that bonus point? There is a an advantage being played now for England as Ben Youngs again has come on and made such a massive impact. I thought it might have been the wrong choice to take Randall off as he was playing, but Johnny May goes over. Oh, we'll go over for the try. He's going to ruin the Scottish afternoon. They won't even get away with a losing bonus point at this rate. What a shame for them. They played so well today, but a superb move there from Ben Youngs. Coming on for Harry Randall, who was playing well earlier in the game. Goes out to Johnny May with a lovely step back on the inside. Two tacklers beaten, and he goes over for the try to take them 10 points clear. The there won't be any bonus point from England in terms of tries today, but we'll see if they can get a few more points on the board. We never know what it can come down to by the end of the Six Nations in terms of points difference. And England take it over there for a 19 points to 7 victory. England will be very happy with their opening game. Still things to work on from the England perspective. We saw a couple of drop balls. The weather won't be helping with that positioning today. Not been the best for England in terms of that backfield. A lot of no one jumping in the air for the ball. No one catching the ball. Certainly some things to work on. But how much did that yellow card impact the game? Just seeing Scotland go down a man opening up the back line too much room and bringing on the experienced players in that second half for England saw them take away with a 12 point lead 19-7 the final score I hope you've all enjoyed this one today guys I will see you next time bye bye